higher education in the changing indian context after india became free and set about the task of reorienting its educational system to suit the needs and aspirations of an independent nation committed to democracy secularism and socialism intensive and widespread discussions have taken place on the aims and purposes of its higher education these discussions have involved all concerned with higher education teachers students parents educationists and leaders in the community their considered views have found expression in important national documents like reports of commissions and committees and statements of national policies like always the various aims proposed to revolve around the abiding concerns of education that is individual society and knowledge we present below a synthesis of these different expressions on the aims of higher education first the first step taken by the ministry of education after independence in higher education was to appoint a commission on university education under the chairmanship of dr s radhakrishnan who later became president of india to report on indian university education dr radhakrishnan recognizes that if india is to confront the confusion our times she must turn for guidance not to those who are lost to the exigencies of the passing hour but to her men of letters and men of science to her poets and artists to her discoverers and inventors these intellectual pioneers of civilization are to be found and trained in the universities which are the sanctuaries of the minor life of the nation what he was trying to say was that the university is the place where the right kind of leadership in all walks of life is developed gifted youths in different pursuits of excellence are identified the university then helps in inculcation of physical fitness the development of the powers of the mind cultivation of the right interests attitudes and promotion of moral and intellectual values in the modern days the university should promote a rational outlook and nurture scientific temper among the youth it should wipe out dogmatism fundamentalism and prejudices from the minds of the youth on the other hand it should develop right kind of temperament and ability to judge between right and wrong good and evil second the report of the education commission 1946-66 popularly known as the kothari commission says about the universities that they are the dwelling places of ideas and idealism and expect high standards of conduct and integrity from all of their members there is the pursuit of truth and excellence in all its diversity a pursuit which needs above all courage and fearlessness great universities and timid people go ill together It is instructive to study what kind of mind was to be cultivated in the universities according to the education commission. Dealing with the special responsibilities of universities, the commission says, the universities must learn to encourage individuality, variety, and dissent within a climate of tolerance that man will be able to live wisely and intelligently. The commission set out the aims of university education in the following terms. Higher education policies and programs should be in line with the social purposes which we profess to serve. There should be a sufficient unity of purpose in the diversity to produce a community of values and ideas among educated men and women. Institutional forms may vary as time and circumstances require, but there should be a steadfast loyalty to the abiding elements of respect for human personality. freedom of belief and expression for all citizens a deep obligation to promote human well-being faith in reason and humanity mere vocational and technical education important though they are do not necessarily serve the spirit 
we might have a number of scientists without conscience and technicians without taste who would find a void a moral vacuum within themselves we should preserve the values of democracy justice and liberty equality and fraternity Universities must stand for these ideals which can never be lost so long as men seek wisdom and follow righteousness.